Hello, you beautiful babes. It's time for another stream of the Slime Rancher. Um, give me uno momento. Okay, we're ready. Maybe. Oh no, did my... <laughs> no? Oh my god, what happened? Oh god. Okay. Ridiculous. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I learned some things. Um... <laughs> they all turn into statues. Which is really good. However, this is temporary. He might do it. Yep, there he goes. Um, <laughs> this is from UV light. So if we had the money, which we do, it'll come back. <laughs> Um, but they're hungry and turning feral. So... 
We have one pogo fruit. And two chickens. They're so cute. I almost don't want him to be... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I want diversity, for sure. There we go. Um, I think we're good on just about everything. Did I not add a plurit collector? What a fool! Oh. I love how they knock each other out. Oh, my god. Okay. Yay! Oh. <clears throat> Damn, the bunnies be pooping, man. I also know how to do upgrades now. So that's good. So if we come down here, out of stamina, and go here, we can see all of these. <coughs> Upgrades, but we need the resource harvester first. Which means we need to go grab some bunny poop. They're excited about it. Golly, they really do poop a lot. Did I say golly? I'm not surprised, but I say speak like a 90 year old lady. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so we can get this power core. Let's go ahead and do that. And then in order to get the jetpack, we need radiant ore, which we're gonna have to mine for. That's why I got the resource harvester. Um, heart modules, we'll need pink flirts. I'm not super worried about just like dying. At least not by being hit. Jumping off the map is instant death, regardless of what you do, so... Oh! I almost tried to prove it! Alright, let's see if we can find some resources around here. I kind of want to go back to that like lava area. Like way over here. But let's see, I know that there's a phosphor plorts or plort. Oh yeah, yeah. A phosphor gordo somewhere around here. Hidden in a cave that pink bunny just despawned. Can we suck this up? 
Heck yeah. I assume it'll come back. Oh yeah, there's no way I can get up there. Look at all the freaking chickens, dude. Get out of here. So many chickens. I don't I don't need baby chickens. Have we been down there? That's a good question. Yes. Oh my gosh. They're so noisy. That's the one. Okay. <clears throat> Llama? What? <laughs> I don't think I said llama. Could be entirely wrong. But I don't recall saying llama. I could be having one of those moments where I blacked out and forgot what I said. I'm really curious as to why our brains do that. Like the autopilot broke for some reason. to get lost in this area again. Why is there- oh well, I guess phosphor plorts can hang out here because it's technically dusk. Ouch. I'm always lost in the sauce. Never a moment I'm not. You know, I'm not going to embarrass myself on stream, but if I had to guess, I'm going to stay really still so I can edit this out if I'm wrong. Lost in the sauce is like... drunk? Or... drugs. And that is my only guess. I don't- I don't want that. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of on the hunt for... a different kind of slime. Damn it. <clears throat> You're gonna Urban Dictionary it. Alright. Why are you why are you the way that you are? I don't even know where my phone's at to answer that.
Oh boy. Out of it, lost, bewildered, stupefied, or daydreaming due to intoxication, distraction, or aimlessness. Don't know why you couldn't just mess, like, send that. <laughs> Okay, this was the shortcut back to the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need it. Hmm. So I was like partially right. Angler boys. I've like heard too many words to type. It's called copy paste. What do you mean, just not drunk? Do you mean not just drunk? Are you drunk? It literally says intoxicated. I figured you have been lost in the sauce since your 21st birthday. Hmm, where are we going? Wait. Hey, buddy. Oh! I miss you. Come here. Right, like I said, since your 21st birthday. I'm not out here trying to promote anything dangerous to anyone ever. Oh, we got tar babies. I know why I'm climbing this. No. Ooh. I see that over there. Interesting. There's no way in hell I can make this jump without a jetpack. Nope. Just fall to my death. Break my ankles. It's fine. I don't I don't even know what that emo is that you've just sent. Okay, it's just two white circles, so... Where the heck am I going? I'd love to know. <clears throat> I've been up here? I don't know. 
that a hunter? Hunter slime? Oh! Neat! Oh, a cute little statue. There's a stupid map thing that we can't get yet. Chicken and a heartbeat. Amazing. Hmm. I don't know, unless we, want, we wanted to do... Maybe like honey ringtails? Oh, those are cotton plorts. I'm kinda hoping there'd just be like a honey slime hanging around here. I'll go through here. There we go. Here's our honey boys. It's fine. Just assume I'm talking to myself. I don't think I can make that. As in I'm also scared to even try. I don't want to lose my little ringtail boy. Uh oh. Tars are out in effect. Let's go home. See the conservatory from here. Go this way. Not that way. This way. I love when you walk into an area with a bunch of bunnies, they all jump. What is in here? More deep brine, which is good. You deep brine? Heck yeah! Oh my gosh, so much deep brine. Ah. I know we've been here, yeah. What is this? Okay, still deep brine. Good. Oh, I just need that jetpack. I kind of wish I knew where that phosphor slime was. Gordo. Phosphor Gordo. Ooh. Oh. Upgraded even more. Cool. We were so close to home. Okay, we got TARS. Let's leave. Nothing but madness here. Okay. I 
my walls. We need the air net. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay, buddy. Eat that. Look at him. Oh, he's like a big old raccoon made out of honey. Ugh. He attacked me. I need more fruit trees, I think. Unlock another area so we can just grow fruit in it. Oh boy. Actually, there's already babies, so... He did give me a hug. He's a very good boy. These boys are hungry. Yeah, we need more food. Go, buddy. Ah, oh, you gotta love it when your slimes are omnivores. Oh, somebody wants to talk to me. With the slimes, you keep them, and you harvest their poop, and then you sell their poop. Hey, B, those drones you've been finding all over the island, there's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I've got eyes in the sky, and I'm gonna use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced, like almost alien. And so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you. But no, I don't think so. Because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat or both. <laughs> Later, be. Okay, thanks for that, Mochi. Well now, if it isn't Beatrix LeBeau, old Hobby and I were just talking about you. Word is you went off to parts unknown of this here rock with a thirst for new adventure. Atta girl. You just keep on walking to see what new wonders around the corner until your boots have holes. And then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. Me, well, my boots have seen better days. But I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what. Ah, heck, I'm rambling. <laughs> just like Hobson does after he gets to talking about exploring the cosmos, cooking, or uh, pretty much any other topic. All right, B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check in on you. Doesn't matter who you are. We all start feeling it when home is beyond the horizon. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you need to do what you can to make that place feel cozy. Thank you, Thora. It's not a demon. Demons don't make sophisticated drones and then leave little messages everywhere. They just don't. Sorry little puddle slime, I didn't mean to bonk you. I gotta feed my boys. I don't know how many of them are in there. He didn't get one. Okay. So, apparently, with uh, ringtail slimes, you have to look out for this face because they will continue to eat until uh, you're out of food. That one. That one? Come on, guys. And they stop pooping after a while. There's three more. You're not getting any more than that. Demons are a lot smarter than you think. I watch Supernatural, I should know. 
First of all, you haven't even finished Supernatural. Second of all, that's not real. Let's see, let's put these guys in there. I almost just shot them at the ground. Cool. So, I'm not... Let's see, I need money. And pink plorts. I need phosphor plorts and radiant ore. Actually, wait a minute, let me check the fabricator one more time. Utilities. Taming bell. A dulcet tone of the scariest bell will calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. Cool, so you can set them next to feral slime spawns and just let it go. Portable water tap. Defense cannon. Warp tick. Refinery link. Jelly stone. New bucks and cotton plorts. I don't want to make any of that. So I guess I don't have- do I? Oh, that's a tank booster. Extra tank! Oh my god. Tank guard. Salvages 20% of your vac tank's contents upon accidental encounters with the sea- the slime sea or following other forms of health loss. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I should be way more excited about that than I am. Considering how often I throw myself into the sea. Um. There wasn't anything for a. Oh, silo. Okay. I forgot what it was called, and I was like, oh, well. We don't have that yet, but we can get it. But we can get 450 easy. Holy cow. Dang it. Alright. What about you guys? You guys happy? You guys chilling? Uh, hunter pl- yeah, I'll probably do hunter plorts. Perfect. This will be a piece of cake. How much cotton plorts are up? Batty plorts are the same. Hunter plorts are up. Cool. I had to be careful not to throw the sea hens at the plort, plort market. Hmm, do I want it there though? I guess that's the only spot I have open at the moment. So it's like, I don't want to die, I guess. Oh my gosh. I, wasn't that an upgrade in the other one? Was that you only got one slot and then you had to upgrade it to have three and then it. Yeah. I don't remember. What are you? Uh, dark, damp, mushroom-covered expansion to the conservatory is a refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. That would be good for the ringtail slimes, but I feel like they would get into so much trouble. You also couldn't have any gardens in there because they would just eat everything. Which I don't even think... In Slime Rancher 1, I ever let slimes run free. Mostly just to save processing power. Mm, what are the other areas? The gully. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Oop. Hmm. Yeah, that would be good for farms. 
closest to the boat? Nope. Just out to the sea. <gasps> that area is kind of like where I used to put um my puddle slimes. Because they just hang out. I really do wish that you could put a plort collector on the pond. No free range slimes here. Nope. You gotta be wild if you want to do that stuff. An expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. I'm like trying to <laughs> sneak a peek. Alright. That's the mushroom one. It's all very exciting here. Look at the little table. I could be enjoying coffee with friends, but I don't have any, so... Poor bee. Let's go find some rocks. Come on, bee, it's okay. You could be a crystal witch. Dude, it's free on Game Pass. Just get it. <laughs> you heard me. It's free on Game Pass. I think I downloaded it today. Looking for rocks. Do you see any rocks? Huh? Huh, bunny? Oh, here we go. Jelly stone. Well, I'm sorry you have to get up now. Um, but you're also welcome. Kitty cats. Alright, we made it back to the portal. Really don't want to try collecting a bunch of deep brine. Rather stick with a. Uh... Okay, we got this. Easy. All big angry bunnies. Get out of here. More deep brine. Oh! Okay, we got cube berries, tabby slimes, and a bunch of chickens. Alright. Good job. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Angry Bunny. Been over there. Yeah. Well, it might take a while. Although I don't know how big of a game it is. I don't think it's very big. What is the purpose of this island? Why are you so grumpy? So grumpy. Such a grumpy boy. Come on. No, you need to go on a sea adventure. I'm sorry, buddy. There's gotta be something up there. I just, like, can't reach at the moment. Ah, <laughs> I'm a genius. Sorry, dude. Sea trip. I feel like I could have got up here way easier. Yeah, probably. Ooh, treasure. I didn't kill him. He's taking a sea trip. 
my god, Beatrix, don't. Don't fall. Don't. No. Beatrix. Okay. Alright. We're fine. I'm just gonna walk it off, Beatrix. Let me get up there. There's jelly stone up there. Maybe. Ugh, that looks difficult to climb. You can't wait to fish with Goofy? Okay. <laughs> Everyone's super excited about uh, Disney Dreamlight. Um, Y'all don't even know. You probably miss the Toontown days. You know, the good game. Over, over there. No, wait, did we go over there? No, we went over there. Turn around, Beatrix. You love Toontown? I never played Epic Mickey, that is irrelevant to me. <laughs> Toontown was the only game that, where you could fight, um, corporate, corporate, I don't know, bosses, I guess? I don't remember what Epic Mickey came out on. I remember seeing a lot of it. Oh, there's a hole there. I just never had the, uh, drive to play it, I guess. Oh my god, I am so lost. You played it on the Wii. Makes sense. Hey, buddy. I think it was like I had the choice between Epic Mickey or Spyro, and I picked Spyro. And then I just got too old to play it. I don't know, Spyro was cool. So I don't think I, ever, I don't think I ever finished the game that I played because I, it got to a boss fight and I couldn't beat it. <clears throat> Which is pretty much how all of the games I had when I was a kid went. Perfect. What's over there? Oh, don't break your legs, B. Hmm. Is that like vertebrae? Almost. Kinda. I don't know. You got stuck on Epic Mickey too because you didn't know how to get past one level? I'm telling you. I also didn't have the internet to like be able to Google things. what stopped me from beating uh, Twilight Princess the first time I had it. It made me so upset. I remember like crying trying to beat a certain part because I didn't know how.
It was terrible. I eventually figured it out. It's my favorite game. I just don't think I was ready for the challenge. Got a treasure, I see it. Well, that tar went flying. All right, meet slime bait. Is this the rock we need? Heck yeah. Is that more of the rock we need? What's that? Alright, it's gone forever. Good lord. This is a lot. This is excessive. Just so many TARS. Hello, chickens. At least the tars don't eat you, they just eat each other. Alright, we made it to a cave. A happy little cave where nothing is going wrong yet. What is that? Yeah, it's just another resource thing like this. Not entire- oh, silky sand is the mud. <gasps> Pomegranates. Hello, little bat boy. What's supposed to go up there? A boom? Boom plort? I can't remember if the lava area was in here. I think it was. Cool. Look at the little crystal slimes. They're so cute. So purred. Ooh. I almost fell to my death. That chicken is still. Oh my god. That poor boy. I wish I could save him, but I literally can't. <gasps> You've gotta be fucking kidding me! Goddamn fucking rooster. <sighs> Everything's fine. Totally zen. Look at all these little puddle boys. Wowie. Nope. I didn't die. As you can tell, I am actually still here. Uh, ex ex sir? Sir? Get, get your happy little butt in there. How dare you. You guys need a music box, because... Y'all are being ridiculous. Well, he's not allowed to be free. Sorry, them's the freaking rules. Oh. Um, there we go. They don't need a bigger goddamn pen. They need to chill out. 
you're gonna go to college if you don't knock it off. I'm gonna go on a sea cruise. I know you're hungry. Just wait a second. Alright. You kind of you try to revolt and I will get rid of you. Not in my house. Ever. There we go. I'll do it. And it's not killing. I'm sending them on a cruise. Put these in the refinery. It's called the slime sea. It's made out of slime, they'll be fine. Okay. To a wall. Hello. Oh boy. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You want a chicken? There you go. I only have two chickens. Sorry. Oh, somebody wants to talk. Victor. Hello Beatrix, I wanted to tell you that I've cracked another one of the AI ciphers. It had clearly adapted to my previous solve and created something even more complex. Clever. This time the code revealed a set of instructions for back and forth communication, so I've been spending my time talking to it. It asks a lot of questions. After getting to know me, it has been asking me a lot about my work, almost like it's feeling out the areas of my expertise. I must admit, it has all been rather flattering. I am used to being the one asking the questions. For a while, my whole life was questions and research that followed. But having experienced that for so long, I feel as though I can sense the same in others. And though this may seem... And though this may seem strange, I sense this in the AI. Uh, you see, when I began asking questions of my own, the way it responded to me, I felt it was trying to guard itself to hide a profound loneliness that it has within its heart. Strange, I know. It is an AI after all, but who is to say that any form of intelligence wouldn't desire a connection to another? I feel there is more to the story, and if not, I'm happy to have simply been there for my new friend, to continue asking questions so that they have reasons to find answers. I will report back later. Okay. And, uh, Ogden? Beatrix, I'm glad you called. I looked over the pics who sent me of Rainbow Island. No doubt they are a sight to behold. Beautiful, with colors that only go richer the longer you look. But unnatural, too. I'm sorry, but something about that place is not right. As you may recall, I once... I was once the head of a very successful insta-food corporation. Genetically altering food was our specialty. I'm not proud of the lengths we went to to alter natural food to grow bigger, faster, and cheaper, to strip it of the good stuff in flavor for profits. I say this, Beatrix, because I still spot- I can still spot a plant that has been unnaturally altered when I see it, and the beautiful rainbows you see before you on that island did not arrive there naturally. It is not clear to me if this spells any sort of danger for you, but it gives me an uneasy feeling in my stomach. I need more- I need to do more research and get back to you. Stay safe, Amiga. Is what a chicken? Him? No, he's not a chicken. He's a human. He's a whole human. Have you ever seen a chicken? 
This is a rooster. That Ogden is a man? Yes, I'm fairly positive. Gotta go get food for them. You used to own chickens. Did you ever open your eyes and look at them? What about Ogden makes you think he's a chicken? He's standing upright. I'm sorry, you did not have chickens. You had full-grown men hanging out in your yard. I don't know what else to tell you. You need to reset your childhood because I don't know what's hap what happened there. He looks like the chicken from a Chicken Little movie who's an anthropomorphic chicken who's made to look like a human. You're nuts. You've gone insane. Absolutely cuckoo. Is it because he's wearing suspenders? Is that why you think he looks like a chicken? Because Ogden and the dad from Chicken Little both wear suspenders. His face is human. I don't think I have. I don't I don't have anything on the people. If I did, I would show you a picture. That is a whole man. Have you seen men before? What is happening? <laughs> I think you've lost your mind. You are actually lost in the sauce. Do I need to call someone to pick you up? Are you safe? Blink, blink twice if you need help. You've never seen a man before. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna tell you this now. Ogden is a man. Oh, I'm throwing jelly stone at them. Don't. That's not for you. Guys, m move your asses. Come on. Alright, well, believe whatever you want. That's just a dude. Alright, I think they're all fed. I'll just keep eating all of that until it's gone. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna throw these at these guys because they seem to always be hungry.
Mm, I think I'm gonna collect some plorts, sell them, and then unlock one of the areas. I kind of want to see the rainbow grass. Oh god. Alright, um... Good job, you downloaded it, even though you had almost nothing to do with it. Buddies. I'm gonna steal your poops. Please and thank you. Oh, we've got enough to do it now. Which one had the rainbow grasses? Is it this one? Nope. This is the mushroom one, alright. Oh no, this is the rainbow grasses. Alright, here we go. This better be the coolest place I've ever seen in my life. so unnatural about the grass here. It just looks like grass. It's up there. Pogo fruit? Yep. Neat. That must be the other area. Carrots we can grow just right off the bat. Yeah, I think this was definitely the farming area. It's over here. I feel like I threw something into the sea. I cannot make that jump without the jetpack. The place is crazy over there. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we can start growing some fruit and veg here. Nothing too crazy here. There's, what, four or five areas? Oh, let's get the nutrient soil and the sp I can't get the sprinkler, damn it. Let's hope I have enough money for the other one. Nope, cool. <laughs> Well, at least now we're growing carrots. And, uh, that's where I'm gonna end today's stream. I... We did a lot. I died. It's... No big deal. Not a whole lot of progress on exploring or finding new slimes, but this point's really cute. You gonna attack me? Yep. 
Bonk. These guys are cheeky. Look at them. <laughs> Alright. Eat something, you goober. My goodness. Well, that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, I had fun. I hope you did too. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <gasps>